In this video, I want to talk to you about e-learning directories, which are an amazing way to go about sourcing potential clients to reach out to to get e-learning narration work. Now, if you've been involved with marketing yourself as a voice actor in any way, you've probably come across before uh, sites like Mandy.com and ProductionHub.com, which are sites that have uh, that are directories of production companies or companies that are involved in all aspects of production. And you can source those sites to find potential clients who might be doing the type of work that you want to do, whether that's TV, radio, that kind of thing. And those sites are pretty popular for, for sourcing potential clients. But a lot of people don't know that similar sites exist for e-learning. Um, a lot of people just don't know where to get the e-learning work. And so I'm going to talk about how to use, how to find and how to use e-learning directories in this video. Now, one thing that I do want to point out before we get too far into the e-learning directory thing is check and make sure that the, that the directory doesn't have uh, any restrictions on how many of their suppliers that you can reach out to. Now, I don't see this often because most directories are there because they want to be reached out to. They want people, uh, of course, they want uh, companies who need e-learning to contact them. But I have seen before where it says, hey, you can use this for marketing purposes, but limit it to 10 a month. So just watch out for that just so that you can stay on the up and up. You want to make sure with all of your marketing, just as with everything that you do, that you are operating with integrity and not violating any policies if you can help it. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see, we're going to start here on Google, Google's homepage, and we're just going to go type in e-learning directory. Pretty simple. And as you can see, it returns a lot of different things. So there isn't just one e-learning directory. There isn't one official e-learning e directory. There are lots of them out there. Um, some of them are bigger and more popular than others. But if you just Google e-learning directory, then you can come up with a list of them like this. So I'm going to go through a couple of these and kind of show you how to use them. Now, this is just a high level view of how to use them. If you want more detailed information, because as you see, once we get into the directories, if you aren't familiar familiar with e-learning lingo, then you might not know exactly which companies are right for you to reach out to because there are companies that, as you'll see, produce e-learning content, so they actually create it. And those are the ones that you want to talk to because they're the ones who are going to be putting the course together and sourcing their voiceover talent. But there are other companies that just sell e-learning courses, or maybe they uh, do something else with content, but they don't necessarily hire the voiceover talent. So this will help you to discover all of the companies under that larger e-learning umbrella. And again, for more specific details on how to target the right companies so that you're not wasting your time reaching out to companies that don't necessarily hire or deal with voiceover talent, you can check out the course Book More e-learning. And you can find that at carrieolsonvo.com slash bookmore. Okay, so let's jump in here. And we'll just click on this first one here, this first e-learning directory, e-learning industry directory. And when we get here, you have to scroll down a little bit to see uh, they've, they've already broken out for you into categories down here. You can also click on directory here and click on content providers or just click here. So again, you don't want a learning management system. You don't need an authoring tool. If you've taken our, uh, my course, then you, you understand what these two things are. But content providers, that sounds about right. So let's click in here. And you can read a quick blurb of each company, again, just to double check and make sure that this is a company that is going to be someone that actually deals with voiceover talent. And I will point out uh, first, we've got 269 companies returned. So uh, a pretty big list of, of companies just with this first search. Uh, so this first list, InfoPro, is an award-winning learning design and performance improvement company. We work with major corporations around the world to solve their biggest learning, training, and performance improvement challenges. So nothing in particular that says that just jumps out to me and says, yes, we are creating online content and we hire voiceover talent, or we, we actually uh, create the, the courses. Now this one though, Sweet Rush, our job is to help you achieve your objectives and be successful. Engage us at any point from analysis to custom development. That's a great keyword, including e-learning, mobile gamification, and ILT, which is instructor-led training. 
to evaluation. So this is one that I'm going to say is going to be a good choice for us to look at. So I've actually gone through and, and clicked on their website here. And lo and behold, it has a great blurb here on e-learning. It talks about what they do. We deliver e-learning that exceeds uh, what you envision. So this is going to be a company that does create their own content and most likely uses voiceover talent. So this would be a good one to put on your list. And then another one that I took the liberty of looking at here, Glad Solutions, brilliant, besto brilliant bespoke e-learning created specifically for your business. So it is custom. It is created specifically, created so they create their own content. So I went ahead and went to their website as well, and there you go. So they create their own content. You can even go through their site and see some examples, and uh, a lot of times they'll put examples and see what type of work they do. And it's always good when you're reaching out to comment on that as well if you feel like you'd be a good fit because you actually looked at what they do on their site. So that's one great way to use directories, Google e-learning directories, go through and, and uh, source potential clients that way. Now back here at our Google search, you can see again that this isn't the only directory that came up with this search. We've got the e-learning list here, which shows 648 online training companies. So if you click into that, uh, you can probably narrow it down again um, by the type of companies that actually produce content. And as you go down, you've got more directories um, all over the world. And you can do different Google searches, so it doesn't have to be e-learning directory. You could say e-learning development companies, um, e-learning developers, online training developers, and get uh, other lists of companies that fall under that, those categories. So that's a great way to go in and start sourcing potential companies that you could reach out to to get e-learning work. Now, another kind of sneaky thing that I like to do to find companies that are developing online training that aren't necessarily in the directories is you can do an e-learning development Google search for specific cities, because likely these companies have websites where they're talking about what they're doing and probably saying the city that they're based in, but they're just not listed on a directory. So the only way that you could really find them would be to Google a keyword from their site and then the city that they're in. Uh, so this is an example of a search that I might do, and you can pick any city that you want just to find, again, just looking for companies that are out there doing this that aren't in directory, so you might miss them otherwise. So I just as an example, I did San Francisco, and you can see here I've appended the search with minus jobs, minus class, and minus certificate, because those are some of the first things that might come up. You're not looking for a job. You know, you don't personally want to get hired as an e-learning developer. Um, you don't want an e-learning class, and you're not looking for e-learning certificates. So if you don't know anything about Google searches, if you add a minus sign next to a, a search term, it will exclude postings that have that term. So we want... Uh, we want postings that are returned or results that are returned that say e-learning development, San Francisco, we're not interested in jobs, we don't want a class, and we don't want a certificate. And you can see here that that gives us a pretty good uh, search result here. So this first one here, e-learning development services, uh, custom e-learning, product e-learning, interactive services, e-learning company uh, e-learning content development. So these are all companies that may or may not be listed in directories, but they're doing e-learning development. So that's another way that you can go out and find companies that are doing online training um, that may or may not be listed in a directory and reach out to them, go to their websites, see what kind of things they're doing, and, uh, and make a contact. Now, again, if you've taken my course, then you've got way more information than this. You know what to do, not just how to find these people, but what to do once you found them. Now, again, this is a great start going through Google and starting to make all of these contacts of people that you can reach out to, but you get the best results as far as people responding well to you and actually booking work if you know how to reach out to them, you know what to say. And of course, if you've taken my course, Book More E-Learning, then you not only have uh, these tools on how to find these uh, contacts, but you also have some swipe templates that you can take for emails that you can use to reach out to people. You know about certain buzzwords that you can that you can include in your contact so that when you're reaching out to these people, you know what to say, when to say it, and you have a great follow-up cycle so that you can stay top of mind.
So if you want to do more than just know who to contact, but you want to know the best way to contact them, the best way to stay in contact with them so that they are most likely to reach out to you and to hire you again and again, check out the course Book More eLearning. You can find it at carrieolsonvo.com slash bookmore.